Now, what I'm going to do is something I've never shown before, but I've had quite a few questions on my channel about what to do uh, to turn off, you know, to allow you to turn off the machine, but retain the work you've been doing and then to resume it at a later time. So I'm finishing for today. As you can see, it's 8 o'clock in the evening. Um, so I'm going to go through what I do to um, close down the machine. First of all, I'll get rid of this tab. And what I'll do is do exit or control D to come out of Troot. And what I'll do is if I get this home link up, and it's all in the book actually, it just is not obvious how to do it. Especially if you've never done this before, you wouldn't know where, where to look. Um, what we have to do is to go to this link here near the end. And we basically run the commands here as if we'd finished and what we're doing here is we're unmounting the virtual file systems and then unmounting the um, host partition or host drive where we've got um, the Linux from scratch being built so if you remember I've got it mounted um, where is it? Uh, as def sda3 obviously it's mounted at mnt lfs so if I run each one of these now, so I've done the logout, I've come out of the troot, um, unmount each one of these virtual file systems. So they've all unmounted successfully. Then I unmount the LFS partition. I haven't got a separate user or a separate home, so I don't need to run those commands. Okay, so that probably means I'm in that directory. I am. So if I just do cd, go to my home directory, rerun that command. You can see it's pausing now while it flushes the um, cache, the buffers, and that's complete. Now I'm not going to shut down immediately because I've also got the swap. Now this may get unmounted by the Raspberry Pi operating system, but to be sure, I'm going to do it manually. In fact, it will do because it's in the FS tab, as would the MNT LFS come to think of it, but there's no harm in um, doing this. Let's do swap off minus eight to unmount. You can see some, some of that swap was actually used, so that could have been during the testing or during the compilation of GCC because it's quite a large package. So it's just flashing that now to the disk. And that's done. So that's more or less it. I'll just close this window down now. Control D, Control D again. I'll close Chrome down for tomorrow. I've got the save tab. Uh, that were open set so that's it so in the next video I'll show how I resume the um, build without losing any information so thank you very much for watching and goodbye